What's going on everybody? Let's rock and roll again. Unfortunately, it's going to be myself today. Why that is, uh, is, I don't know, that <laughs> freaking thing. Yes. I can't right. come hunting today because this little guy needs to get his 10 week needles, which he's booked in for in the next few days. So I have to wait here. Yeah. yeah. All right. But, um, anyway, yeah. bye. <laughs> nah, um, yeah, well, next week I reckon he's going to come with us for the first trip. Yeah, and, um, after the needles, that's it, we'll okay. take him out, we'll get him out there as much as we can, so yeah. he becomes a little deer finding weapon. Like an English English pointer, so he, he meant to point deer. Yeah, this was our big surprise as well, his name's Sneaker. Sneaker. Sneak into the San Madia. Anyway, let's go for the big boys. Hopefully the 30 inch is going to drop today, we'll see. No, hopefully it doesn't. Oh, I mean, hopefully not. I need to be there for that. Hopefully he gets a small little spiker. Hopefully just a small one. <laughs> Alright. See ya. See ya. Alright, let's go guys. Wow guys, look at this weather. Fog, a little bit rain, it's nice and wet. This is the way I love it. So let's rock and roll and see if we get a deer. He's running towards the gully. My heart's gone, man. Oh boy. Oh man. Oh boy. Man. I'm not gonna continue tomorrow, it's getting dark. I'll be so, so, so spewing. If he, if he, if I can't find him, it's thick, man. It is thick, freaking bush everywhere. But tomorrow, I don't know, yeah, it's gonna be an interesting day. Man, man. Oh boy. Holy hell, man. I am still shaking, and usually, you know, I, I don't mind shooting, shooting deer or stags and all that, but he, he was big. He was a, a big boy, and, um, my only worry is that I'm not I'm not gonna find him, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stay I wanna stay positive and then tomorrow morning um it's really really cold here as well by the way so the meat should be all good still tomorrow but I'm really hoping that I find him tomorrow and I hope I can show you guys the, the trophy and the, the whole body. I have no idea how to carry him out here. I'm most likely gonna have to chop him in half if I find him. So the good part is um when I shot off the tripod from my camera that it wasn't facing the deer the, the doe and the stag but as soon as I pulled the trigger as you can see as soon as I pulled the trigger it went pretty much it, the camera moved down a bit and you can see the stag moving towards the left so and there's a little branch down there where I'm gonna I'm gonna go right there and that's why I'm gonna start searching tomorrow and it's just extremely thick so I'm hoping I'm really hoping that there's somewhere some blood and um, because I was shaking as I said this time I was I was shaking big time so 
All right, guys, I'm starving, absolutely hungry. So I have to go down there to the local pub. It's like an hour away. So I was planning to go out here for a day. Not, I didn't want to sleep overnight. But anyway, I'm going to go down there, hopefully get a nice big beef burger and get a lot of energy for tomorrow. So let's rock and roll. Get some energy for tomorrow. I'm so pumped already. Hmm. Super excited. It could be the 30 inch. It could be. Man, this is the fun part about hunting. You just never know what rocks up. Okay? You go somewhere, you sit, you sit down and wait. It's so exciting. You never know, it's gonna be a calf, dough, or stag. Alright guys, I'm in the car, sleeping in the car today, I can't be bothered setting up that um, swag. I'm just going to stay in here in the back, it's pretty comfy as well. And then tomorrow morning we're going to rock and roll and um, fingers, fingers, fingers crossed man, I, I can't even barely sleep. And usually I don't, I don't really mind, you know. Finding the deer for me is very important, yes, of course. But that big boy, hey, oh, boy, man, I saw how wide he was in the video. Man, 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 man. And, um, and this shaking as well. I mean, I need to get that under control in future. <laughs> I started shaking. He was chasing that doe all the way up, hey. And I was like, damn it. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to go up at 6.30. I'm going to stalk him slowly, get in position again. And uh, we'll see, maybe another deer comes out. But... I still want to yeah, find this this bull, and um, um, yeah, we'll see. Morning, guys. What's happening? Um, sleep wasn't too good. <laughs> good lesson for me. Next time, I'm gonna yeah set up the swag. Silly me. Anyway, the, there is fog absolutely everywhere. The whole thing is fogged in. Um, so I'm just gonna have to wait a bit um, till it disappears. So yeah, it's not that much positive stuff in that video, I can tell you that. <laughs> but this is what I'm worried about, finding a deer. Anyway, I'm um, just going to wait for another couple of hours, or maybe an hour, till the fog goes away. And then we can head in there and see what, what, if we can find him. The thickness of this bush, but here is a big footprint here. That looks like a big footprint. So he went in here. Good luck, man. Man, man, it does look like he changed direction. Because usually when a deer is really hurt, it will go straight down, straight down into the gully, you know. So I, I followed the footprints, but then it, it it seems like they go towards the left again, up up the hill for some reason. So maybe I'm, maybe I missed him. I'm so spewing, man. Um, nah, man, I'm, I'm anyway. I only keep looking for a couple of hours and see how it goes. This place is freaking miserable today. <sighs> Going in hard, look at him. Look at him, sucking all out the blood. I found him, guys. Oh my god, I need to get emotional. I'm so fucking wet, man. I'm soaked. I searched the whole freaking gully, I swear to god. I searched the whole fucking gully. Sorry for the swear words, by the way. And I was like, I was like, Damn it, I got home man, I had enough, I had enough of this shit. I thought I was gonna hang the gun in the safe, I had enough. <laughs> and as I woke up there, I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna go all the way back in a totally different direction. See, maybe he went that way, and guess what? Ladies and gentlemen, I freaking found him. Man! I cannot believe this. I Oh man, I swear to God, that whole gully I searched, all the way up, 
the opposite face every every single bit i must have followed the wrong track as well there was a doe yesterday and, and that big boy and that big boy the doe went that way the big boy once went went right towards the gully so i thought he must have been stuck in the gully the shot is a bit far behind as well this is maybe why see because the shot is a, a gut shot the shots right here it wouldn't go that far what a beast boys oh. <laughs> man 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 i usually don't shake many times when a deer comes out yeah but yesterday that whole thing went nuts <laughs> oh boy i cannot be happier hey now we have to pack that whole beast out and that is around 700 meters guys no jokes 700 meters up the hill and we have to uh, get the head first then the, the that part here and then the back legs so wow it's gonna be a job and a half but i cannot be more happy holy crap look at this beast <laughs> yes got the head there the front of the body there the back there now now the journey starts Boy, to make sure we're gonna find back again. What a trip that was, guys. Look at this atmosphere in here. Look at this. There's a, there's a gully here, right there, at the back down there. My car is, I don't know, up there. A long, long, long way. The good part is, it's, um, I think midday or so, somewhere around there. So that's good. It's not dark. I've got time. I mean, I'm gonna take my time. I get all that meat out there. Are up there and then there yeah, I cannot wait I love it trip guys last night shot him right down there he was chasing after the doe I shot him at the bit, bit too far in the guts so that's why he took off freaking four five hundred meters but I didn't give up and luckily I found him right at the end I wanted to I wanted to go home that I was that close to turn around and go home but then I saw you know what I pulled the trigger I gotta give him a fair chance and see if I can find him somewhere and found him. My journey is over guys. Happy hunting and let's go home and get some beef burgers into us. <laughs> All right, let's rock home. Oh my goodness, what a trip. So I already called Steph. She said she's going to do the European Mount tomorrow. So I'm excited for that. I cannot wait and uh, yeah, let's go. Two hours till we hit home. Excited for next week? Yep. Sounding good. 
it's gonna be my turn. <laughs> let's get the big boy next week. I guess so, it's my turn, and then you come home with these big ones. That's okay. Next week we're gonna go for the third inch just again. A, just, <laughs> just a little spiker. Yeah. Just a little spiker, I say. Get a little spiker. <laughs> next time I say get a massive one, and hopefully he comes back with a little spiker. <laughs> Okay, so finished. Nice. So we'll just put some tape around the edges here, like it did last time. Yeah. And then we'll boil them up. Awesome. It's going to be good. And then we can, you can paint them and you know get the grinder, make them more nice and sharp for the wall. And that's it. Good job, Val. Nice, and top it up a bit. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, finished. Finished. Awesome, looks good. Take all day to boil it. Very good though. Looks fantastic. Awesome, well let's, let's mount him on a wall. What do you reckon? Yep, let's pop him on. Awesome. Yep. Nice. Right. Perfect. Beautiful. Nice what do you reckon? Presented. Looks good. Looks amazing. Awesome. All right, yep. thanks for watching guys. And um, this is it. Yep. This is it. Unfortunately, it's not the 30 inch just yet, but um, hopefully <laughs> this weekend. Yeah. yeah. Or, yeah. With the puppy. Awesome. Yeah.